up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ballroom Yokoso, aka Welcome to the Ballroom, Season 1, Episode 8, titled Heat Reality. So this episode, after, you know, the recap and stuff, and, um, and the opening song, it continues where we left off in the manga, which is page 21 of Chapter 9, like the bottom portion of it. And it's doing a sweet job so far. And I love, I still love the soundtrack. But so far, I gotta say, my favorite part is when Sengoku is like trying to slam, <laughs> slam my boy Haido's head into the table, you know, to hide him. And Haido gives him the death stare. And I'm just like, that, that was perfect. I That was perfect anime. That death stare that Haido gave <laughs> Sengoku was nice. And, um, and Sengoku's like, and the look on Sengoku's face after the death stare was just priceless. And I love, I gotta mention Marisa, cause, uh, aka Hedo's mama. Marisa is so awesome. Um, especially like after this portion of this, uh, portion of the manga is done. And, and, uh, you know, so, uh, fuck. And, um, Tadara is gonna, uh, gonna work with Marisa. Oh my God. I, I can't wait for that part. So, and let's get to this next book here. I love this Dango music. It is so good. But um, this part was skipped. And this is on page uh, 24 of chapter 9. When um, Mako is, is supposed to think he's um, that Tadara basically is pushing too hard. The first part of it was there. But the second part um, was uh, skipped. We're doing so well, anime. So this is on page, if you're following along, I should have stuck, said that in the beginning, but whatever. If you, um, on page 25 of the manga, um, this little dialogue, it's in the middle of it where Mako says this, and this part was skipped. Um, you need to save your energy for the quick step. We only have two heats this round, so the breaks will be shorter. You haven't done this as um, long as Oni-chan. And instead what we got was like the, uh, the dancers instead, so I shouldn't complain too much, but like when Todd is sweating, I feel like there should, we, we should have still gotten this dialogue. And I'm scared that they're gonna rush through the, the rest of the Tempe Cup. Please don't do this anime! You have a longer season than like the, uh, the, the majority of the uh, anime this season, so don't do this to me. And now we're going into uh, the Foxtrot. And, oh man, I love the music choice. The music choice is so good. Man, I need to start ballroom dancing if you lose that much, if you lose weight like this during, um, in ballroom dancing. I fucking need to learn how to do ballroom dancing. I swear to God. But, um, I love the, the look on Sengoku's face when he's making this realization. is so priceless. He's just like, Oh, crap! I forgot this! Oh, no! So, this portion of the manga was skipped, or I should say, um, in her monologue, and this is on page 28 in the middle. What is it with skip in the middle of the uh, page dialogue? I don't get it. <laughs> My legs, they're not moving fast enough, even though I know how I'm supposed to move. And then this part was skipped. That's right. He's a newbie. Um... Why do you look here for? Here we go. Let's see if there's any other stuff skipped so far. I think we're good other than that. I really like how they're doing this um, inner monologue for Tatara. And this is the inner monologue that's in chap um, uh, chapter 9, page 33. It is, I love the style of shot and the color that they're using. It's like a stop. Uh, they're, I don't know how to describe it. They're like... They're like, it feels like they're pausing it while he's doing it. And it looks, uh, while he's, Tadora's doing this in her monologue. And it looks like a painting. It is just the best way to describe it. It's so beautiful. I'm, I really, really like it. So as, uh, this, this whole, inner, first of all, this whole inner monologue was really good. It made, and it, this is what the manga does, uh, where like, it feels like Tadora's like the only one in the room while he's doing this in her monologue. But I think the anime did it a lot better. The artwork is, and the animation for this is just that good. I'm so proud of you, anime. Um, this is definitely better than 
Shikoku no Altar's animation. I have to say that right now. Um, this one is, this part was skipped though. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mako-chan. It's like, I was like, I'm not Mako, I'm not Mako-chan. And then there's my boy Haido! Yee! I love Haido! I love him! Yes, I'm probably gonna say that every <laughs> time he makes an appearance, because he's just, I love him! I love, I like, it's been, I know his personality is lacking, but give it some time! Give it some time. His personality gets a lot better. At the bottom of page 37, this part was skipped when Sengoku-san uh, said watch it to Kiyohara. But I really like this. I get, this music is really good. Like, I, like right before it splits up. You know, that little break I, um, that we get in between. I love the music and the, the sound effects for it. It's just, it's just makes it um, that much more uh, dramatic. And I really appreciate that. So now we're at the end of chapter 42, and I gotta say, this is goddamn perfect. And the end of chapter 42 is like about the 10 minute, 30, I wanna say 30 second mark, maybe four, uh, 35 second mark. But this uh, this chapter overall was really good. There, Yes, there was some dialogue missing, but I can understand why they did that, but at the same time, it still didn't make sense for them to skip like Mako, a little bit of Mako-chan's, um, dialogue either Whew. sorry um i'm glad that kiyohara i love kiyohara's dialogue i i wish he had his eyes open just a little bit more but other than that like this, this animation is doing a really good job here so i don't mind that this is skipped but um i have to talk about it anyway so on page one of uh chapter 10 um, this part was skipped. The battle is decided by the partner's prowess. Um, uh, your opponent is, uh, Hanaka, Hanoka Shizuku. And I understand why that was skipped because it was just said a minute ago. So I understand why that was skipped. Even freaking Ballroom Iyakoso does visual explanations to Kakiguri. And this is just sad, Kakiguri. Um, when, um, it was freaking perfect. It was when, uh, so Goku says, get stuck in that swamp for all I care. I'm reading the manga dialogue here. Uh, like a daytime drama. And the look on Mako-chan's face was priceless. Oh my god. Hold on a second. I love it when Marisa's coming. And so Goku's like, oh great, another headache. But he was supposed to like kind of cuss, like say a cuss out. Like mutter cuss, uh, curse words under his breath. And uh, say again something bothersome, but I'm okay with this dialogue. I I like it. It's fun. Wow, I so tense was skipped, and that's on page six, the bottom portion of the manga. Uh, this part was skipped. Your teacher isn't giving any favors, and that was from Marisa, and that was p middle of page eight. What is with this anime skip in the middle of the, uh, the manga's dialogue on each panel or on each page? I just don't get it. It's not hap it doesn't happen all the time, but it's just or all the time in this episode, but it's just happening constantly, and it's really quite annoying. Um, here we go. Oh my god, the look in Sengoku's face when he says, are you meaning to disobey me? Oh my god, it was perfect! Just like the manga, but even better! I love that dark expression he had! It was so good! I really like the extra dialogue we get between Mako and Tatara when they're basically fighting each other. <laughs> and the... The facial expressions was goddamn perfect, too. I'm very satisfied. And the other thing is, I love the look at Sengoku's face when he's just like, what kind of, what's going on here? What kind of relationship do they have? Like, I, or no, it wasn't that. It's like, are you guys dating? Like, what the fuck is going on here? That was really nice. Uh, this part was skipped, was, um... Oh, how sexy. Haido Marisa, how'd he get her here? Um, and that was on page, uh, 14, or not 14, page 12. Again, it's always in the fucking middle! But, um, uh, it was, uh, do you say, um, uh, do you say that? Uh, was skipped. So, this part of the dialogue was skipped. Uh, on the page, it was the last panel on um, page 21, which was, Pachita come me too, this kind of competition was uh, skipped. The ending of this episode was really good. 
I like that, you know, we... I like that we got more dialogue between Mako and Tadara. I think that was probably the best part of it. Um, and where we're leaving off, and I'm glad we're leaving off here, is... It's about the bottom of page 26 going into page 27. So I'm fine with how they ended the episode. I thought that was really good. Uh, overall, this episode was fantastic uh, for as a manga to anime adaptation. It was pretty fantastic. And in, in some ways, I think it was better than the manga because they, uh, they enhanced it. And I really, really like that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. What did you think of the music, the facial expressions, um, the dialogue, some of the dialogue changes? I I'm fine with it. And what did you think of... The additional dialogue we got between Mako and uh, Tadara. I really, really like it. I It added a lot more depth to depth. Yeah, depth for uh, this episode. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Sync. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, my Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitter and following my Twitch channel because I'm gonna, I got the uh, closed beta for Final Fantasy Dissidia. I'm gonna start playing it this weekend. Um, and also, uh, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!